Hey guys, this isn't part of the standard. This isn't start part of the standard tutorials that I'll be producing. Somebody had requested that I show them how I set up a scene in 3ds Max, so I thought I would knock that out. Typically, I start with a an object like a sphere in my scene, and I the reason I do this is well, one, it's going to be good to present. Um, this tutorial, but the reason I do this is to set up materials as I'm working on my scene, and so I will just uh, drop that in here. And I just typically I put it on the ground plane, so you can see the grid lines in the background. You know, grid. I'll put it there. Um, and then I'll drop in a V-ray light, and it's a dome light and I'll drop that anywhere in the scene whoops I didn't pick dome drop that anywhere in the scene and you need to pick a V-Ray HDRI to attach to it which I did there and then typically I put in an infinite plane right here um, I, I don't do this anymore because I just save it as a template file but um, I just wanted to present this uh, for the person that had requested it. So I'll put an infinite plane and I'll just assign the default V-Ray material to it, um, whoops, as well as my sphere. And then um, the reason I use the default materials because it makes it real good to kind of judge light and shadows in your scene um, just with the default materials uh, without having any special things applied to them. Um, so I think that's it for that part of it. Next is setting up the render. So I've got a render set up. And then for production mode, um, I just set it to V-Ray Advanced. Um, I still like to work. You can work in production mode and use the RT, which is what I'm presenting here, the V-Ray RT. But um, I typically like to go to this active shape mode and then change it to the V-Ray RT. And go to the settings here. I'll hit it advanced and the render type you'll have to choose you'll have to do some research to decide on which uh, render engine that you want to use um, the open CLs like AMD graphics cards and stuff like that um, CUDA is like Nvidia graphics cards but don't don't just take it on that do some research stuff that stuff up um, typically I drop the bundle size down to like 32. Um, turn on under sampling. The maximum time I want for it to uh, calculate basically is it's doing the active shade stuff um, is 0 0.05 minutes. I don't want to keep endlessly computing and just taking up resources in my computer. Um, the bundle size is the amount of data getting sent to V-Ray, the V-Ray engine and stuff in in like a bundle. And I just in order to reduce the processing, I just push that down and it looks just it looks great on my computer with even 32 so um, that's just what that is well and then typically I believe I just leave the rest of this yeah the rest is okay um, and the reason I like to work in this active shade mode at RT is you can see that there's you know quite a bit less settings in here for production if you go into the production rendering and you set it to RT you get a lot more control. For example, like right here, global illumination, I can set both to brute force. Um, so you, you get a lot more control here. But for simple, when I'm just getting started in a scene, I really don't care about all that stuff right away. So I typically work in this, this, uh, this set, this mode here, this active shade mode with the RT and then these settings here. So after that, um, I go ahead and set up an exposure control, but usually I have to kind of tweak these for my cameras and my views when I'm done, but I want to set up something initially, so I'll just go to V-Ray Exposure Control. Um, the exposure control for V-Ray and um, the cameras and systems like that, it's all based off of real photography, so you just kind of take some photography lessons or classes, uh, look it up online, Linda, whatever you want to do but it's all based off of real values like in real life so I just pick some stuff that I like here 
to start with. Um, you can pick whatever you want, and then I will close that. And here I'll split my views, and I set them both up in perspective. Right here, make sure I'm both in perspective. And if I didn't screw up, I will go to Active Shade, and everything should work fine. Rendering image, <laughs> perfect. So you can see it's pretty dark back there, though. So to fix that, I just pull up my material slot. I go to my light here, grab my HDRI, drop it in my instance, and right here I want to raise my, basically this controls the intensity of my image, so I'm just going to raise that to 7 or so. Um, that, looks, that looks good, I think. Maybe even go 10, kind of a little extreme, but I think that gets the point across. So you can see as I work everything is live which is the whole point of using the R the RT system um, any updates I do such as like I create a material here let's say I set this to black and raise the reflection all the way up turn on the uh, Fresnel or Fresnel I don't care what anybody says that's the way it reads Technically, it's for null or something like that. Anyways, um, and I will assign it, call it glossy black. Okay, so you can see everything's live. The instant instant that I am assign that, uh, and then I'll go ahead and assign the plane. So you can see, pretty pretty quick um, setup. Everything, and I'm not using incredibly expensive computer I mean I'm using a decent computer but um, you know if you have a NVIDIA a high-end NVIDIA card and probably I don't know you probably get a decent computer 15 17 hundred bucks that processes just about anything that you would need quickly enough on if, unless you're doing fur and particles and things like that um, and you, you might want to beef it up or like very large scenes entire cities things like that with a lot of proxies but um, typically a normal computer can process things really well, especially like building facades and stuff. So that's it guys, I just wanted to present this and um, I'll be putting together real, uh, kind of more categories, more, uh, I'll be putting together tutorials that are in better categories to learn 3ds Max kind of from start to end. But for now this is, um, this was a specific request from a user and so I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.